feel like we psychically speak the same language. Language? <gasps> oh, oh my God! Welcome to Full Frontal. All hands on deck! Hi, it's me, Sam B. I'm sitting here with executive producer Miles Khan, a gentleman that I have known for so many years. We worked together at The Daily Show prior to working together at Full Frontal. I watched The Daily Show for years before I got the job. Do you remember Sunset Boulevard? Yes, that was not the first piece we worked on together, but one of the early pieces that we worked on together, we had to crash a real red carpet for a film or a TV show. So I pulled my boob out. <laughs> I was just like wandering drunkenly down the night, fell and crawled along the red carpet and we crashed it and filmed it and ruined everyone's days. Because <laughs> people were like, I'm trying to do my job. And we were like, look, man, we're just trying to make Jon Stewart laugh here. Probably one of my favorite pieces with you. Do you remember Are You Prepared? I loved Are You Prepared? I think it was yeah. John's one line pitch was just like a local news story about yeah. scaring people. Well, it was like, everybody's so scared of everything. Are you prepared? And they're like, for what? Uh -huh. And I'd always had an idea to do one gang and you let me do it. And it was in that piece. And it started the piece. Keep looking at the wrong camera. And then yell like pretend yell at the camera crew <laughs> like it's their fault are you pr sorry where's the are this one in the middle or this one no she was I anthony was, she was she was, in was the, she was acting it. she was performing that was me doing it she's that good and we really did knock on strangers doors yes we did they'd slam the door on you Mm -hmm. Such a good bit. Do you remember the older couple? They're like maybe in their 60s. We went into their basements. I remember going through all their stuff. He was like, aren't you worried? And he's like, well, it's just so hard to wrap your head around what might kill you. And he said... Is that because you're so close to death already? <laughs> the nastiest thing to say to somebody. It's so awful. And then the, the camera shuts off and immediately you like go back into Sam's yeah. sweet mode. That is your default mode, to be clear. Yeah, I'm a normal person. And so I remember seeing your husband first. My husband is Jason Jones. We worked on The Daily Show together. That's not where we met. We met doing children's theater. So get that out of your head. He is a perfectionist. He is hilarious. He is ardent and he has no patience for rookies. No, he doesn't. <laughs> I went to Butte, Montana with Jason. I feel like you guys went to a super fun site. We did. It was an old mine. The top of a mountain had been blown off and left abandoned and then filled with toxic water. Great. <laughs> Sounds beautiful. And it became a bit of a weird tourist attraction in Butte. There was a viewing platform and you could just go stare at the old great. pit. Come see our toxic pit. Yeah. Don't touch it. <laughs> there was this husband and wife scientist couple and they thought that they found some weird microbes living in the toxic water that could cure cancer. So you have discovered the cause and cure of cancer. <laughs> we had an idea, so, oh, you should go try to cure your grandma by tossing her into the pit. We got a wheelchair and we got like an old lady outfit right. and we got a wig and I played his grandma on camera and he's in a hazmat suit and we scouted out a different body of water, not the actual pit. But it was like a solid 30 degree slope into a body of water and he took a running start, your husband. And he pushed you. He pushed me in a wheelchair at full speed. And I launched myself off at the hip and I had to hit the water. I splat and hold my breath for as long as I can. Did you do it more than once? I go, I nailed, I nailed. He goes, now we gotta do it again. You weren't under long enough to make it funny. <laughs> I think I earned both you and Jason's respect in the end. You did. And I think those like few early pieces with mm -hmm. you, I was like, I found my muse. <laughs> I found my, <laughs> no, but I, I found a real partner. Uh, both you and Jason, we speak the same language and it's like 17 years later. 17 years later. <laughs> Is this a SAG thing? Do I get residuals no. or no? God, no. <laughs> Stop it.